What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. Or if it's your first time, hey, I'm Anna. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're brand new, I hope you'll consider subscribing because it's free. And today I have a Devo or devotional video for you. We are reading through the book of Psalms together one chapter at a time. And today we're on Psalm 129. So let's go ahead and get into it. You can either grab your regular hard copy Bible. This is mine. Or you can use the YouVersion Bible app on your phone. It's a free download. And turn to Psalm 129, like I said. Pause the video so you can actually take the time to read that psalm for yourself. It's really short. It's less than 10 sentences long and it won't take you long at all. And I think it's a lot more important for you to actually read God's word and take it in individually for yourself as opposed to just listening to me talk to you about what it says. I think reading God's word is always the priority over just like reading about God's word or listening about God's word. So anyway, go ahead, pause that video, and when you come back, I'll share what I have for today's devotional. This is a really interesting psalm because it's a brief like encapsulation of the history of Israel. And I'm gonna read the first two verses in the New Living Translation to you. It says, from my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me. Let all Israel repeat this. From my earliest youth, my enemies have persecuted me, but they have never defeated me. That is a great mini history of the people of Israel, of God's chosen people. I have had so many people over the years working in churches and ministering to people and being on mission trips. And here in the comments on my YouTube channel, I've had a, several different people ask me, why is it important for Christians who are living in the New Testament age, why is it important that we read the Old Testament? For today's Devo, I have a couple of reasons about why I know it's important for you as a Christian living in 2017, or if you're watching this down the road, maybe it's like 2021, whatever year it is, in modern times, why it's important for Christians to be reading not just the New Testament, but also the Old Testament. The first reason is, is that the Old Testament gives us a big picture of the history that led up to Jesus in the New Testament times. I love those first couple verses in Psalm 129 because I said it's like a mini history of God's chosen people, the people of Israel. But really, a mini history is not enough. It's important to go through and read in Genesis and Exodus and in the Chronicles and in Samuel and Kings and the prophets, Isaiah and Jeremiah, all of those books, because it shows us how there was a need for a savior. Jesus is our savior. It shows us how God created the world. He created mankind and things got messed up and they needed someone to reconnect them with God. And who was that going to be? That was going to be the coming Messiah. And so there was a need for Jesus. And as you read through the Old Testament, you're going to see prophecies foretelling, oh, there's going to be a Messiah. He's going to be born of a virgin. He's going to die on a tree, hang on a tree. He's going to be without sin. You're going to see all these prophecies. You're going to see people who are living their lives and they love God, but they're struggling and they need a savior. And so I think it's really important that we read the Old Testament to help us understand the big picture. One of the coolest sermons I ever heard at youth camp, I was going as a leader and we used to go to this youth camp called Falls Creek um, every summer. And the, one of the best sermons, one of my favorite sermons I've ever heard was this minister talking about the scarlet thread and think about the blood of Jesus, red, scarlet. He was talking about how there is a picture of Jesus and a need for Jesus woven throughout the Old Testament and it's beautiful and it's this rich tapestry but there's this scarlet thread running through and it leads us to the New Testament where we see Jesus what we needed here a free gift from God for us and I still think about that sermon often like at least once a month and that sermon was years ago but Anyway, I think that is the first reason why I think it's really important for us as modern day Christians to be reading the Old Testament. The second reason why it's important for us as modern day Christians to be reading and studying the Old Testament is because there's a reason that God like put all of these books together into an entire and whole Bible. God led and guided men by the Holy Spirit long ago, we're talking like 1800 years ago, 1700 years ago, I don't remember the exact date, but God led and guided men who were leaders in the church to put these books together. And they had a list of standards and tests that they felt led by the Holy Spirit to use to help them figure out if a book was really inspired by God or if it was just some good thoughts that were put together by men or if it was just straight up bad thoughts like heresy. And God led those men and guided them, like I've said several times, to 
put the Bible together as it is. And we have the treasure of that for a reason. God wants us to read this Bible. Another reason for you to be reading the Old Testament as a modern day Christian is think about the New Testament Christians who were reading the Old Testament themselves, who were using the Old Testament to help them write the books in the New Testament. Paul, he wrote most of the New Testament. He quotes the Old Testament a lot. Jesus, hello, Jesus, he quoted the Old Testament a lot, a lot, a lot. He was constantly studying the Torah, studying the law and the prophets, and he was teaching in the synagogues based on that. That's something that you see throughout all four of the Gospels. And there's a verse, I can't remember the reference, but I'll put it up here on the screen somewhere. But Jesus said, I didn't come to abolish or get rid of the law and the prophets, but I came to fulfill them. He didn't come to get rid of the Old Testament. He came to fulfill the Old Testament, which goes back to that first reason. So those are some reasons that I hope inspire you to open up your Bible and not just look at maybe the Gospels or, you know, Romans or Galatians, but or even the book of Psalms, which we've been studying a lot lately, but really inspire you to get into the Old Testament, to maybe read the book of Isaiah or the book of Esther or the book of Genesis and study those as well. Also, something you could do is just get a study Bible that um, whenever a New Testament author, whenever he quotes the Old Testament, it tells you where they're quoting from and you could go back and study that specific book if you really wanted to tie it together with the New Testament, if that's something you're interested in. So anyway, those are my suggestions for you. Those are the reasons why I believe we should be reading the New Testament. I hope it encouraged you or motivated you or inspired you or made something more clear for you. And if it did, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys soon sometime this week. I'm going to have my first ever Bible journal entry in my new Bible journal. And so I'm excited for that and I hope you guys will enjoy it. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye.